Hey guys, this is a mailbox haul, PR haul, whatever you want to call it. Um, just stuff that I've been sent that I want to share with you. Um, I don't always feel like I have to talk about everything that I'm sent, but I do like to talk about stuff that I like. And I do, I don't know why I made that ugly face, and I do like to talk about stuff when I feel like you guys might be interested in it. So, OGX. Mm, I love their stuff, their smells, their scents. Um, in a recent vlog, I just picked up their Subaki Blossom Body Wash. I had used the shampoo conditioner and I didn't really find like a huge difference in my hair, but I never find a difference in any shampoo or conditioner. Like the only things I find a difference are like more like conditioning treatments, like for real masks, but love their scents. And another scent that I really love is their Argan Oil one. So <laughs> when I got all this Argan Oil scented stuff, I was so excited. This is the Volumizing Mousse. Definitely gonna use that. Um, this is the finishing spray. Now, I'm not someone that uses hairspray a lot, so we'll see how this goes, but I love the smell of this. I have, did I have it in the most recent empties or in my current empties, is the body wash in the argan oil scent. Love. There's the argan oil hair butter. I have never tried it, a hair butter before, and it's a leave-in or a rinse out, so I'm kind of excited. That looks super exciting. Moroccan Surf Paste. I might give this to my brother because I, I don't use stuff The like in-shower oil. Again, something I've probably also never heard of. How does this work? Multitasking oil. Um, you can use it to hydrate and you nourish your skin and your split ends. Oh, I'm going to try this. I'm kind of excited. Okay, so here's a select other random things. The penetrating oil. This is the vitamin E oil. I haven't tried this yet. Next are the biotin and collagen shampoo and conditioner. I love bottles like this because when you travel, you can take them and then you can like pitch them and not be concerned that like you're gonna be wasting it because you took like a, a big bottle with you or something. There's also the coconut water shampoo and conditioner. I have a different um, shampoo and conditioner. Like it's in like a tube, like a huge tube that I have in my shower right now. It's so good. I don't know if this is the same, but I think it is the same because the coconut water, I think these are just small bottles of it. I have it in like a big like squeezy tube. Love. Coconut curls. Styling milk. I don't, I don't have curly hair. I don't know if this is probably not for me. Coconut water hydration oil and a weightless oil O2. Again, have... Again, I haven't tried either of these. I don't know what I'm gonna get through all these oils. Like, they're all so exciting to me. <laughs> Actually, my friend was over and she tried this, like, weightless oil because she was reading it. She was like, so it's an oil, but it's also lifting. She's like, how is that possible? So she put it in her hair because um, she has, like, I think she has, like, wavy hair. It's, like, thick, wavy hair, and it worked. Like, she put it in and, it, like, it made it, like, softer and shinier, but at the same time, it didn't weigh her hair down either. So I'm probably gonna give this to her since she already used it and liked it. And lastly is the Moroccan sea salt spray. That's weird. The idea, I guess it's like the idea of having something with sea salt. And Moroccan oil and the same thing. It smells so good. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so Pixie by Petra sent over these sticks. I'm just gonna share them with you. I have swatches that I did. I can turn off the video so I can do the swatches for you. So. This one's in Wild Rose. Baby Petal, Soft Strawberry, Watermelon Veil. The last one is my favorite. It's the Sheer Sculpt. And this one I've obviously been using a lot because it's like that perfect tone to kind of hollow out your cheekbones. And they blend out really nicely. Now, they're supposed to be multi-use. I find that I prefer them on the face and less on the lips. Um, but the colors... I feel like the colors are are better for someone who has the one I reach for the skin. most is Wild Rose, and it's probably because it's more of it has like more of like a purpley undertone to it, which is like or like mauve purple, and it's just it just looks better on me. But most of these are like not really like colors for my skin tone. I don't think they look good on me, but I like the formula of them for the face. Elf had sent over some items that I wanted to share with you. I just haven't seen a lot of these items before. This is the. This is called, the shade is called Molten Bronze, but I'm guessing it's some kind of like liquid eyeshadow. I already took it out of the packaging, so I mean, it's not labeled, so I can't really tell you. But it's a, ooh, that is pretty. 
It's very lightweight. We'll see how long it stays. I haven't tried any of this stuff out yet. It's called Molten Bronzed. I mean, it's really, really pretty. Then you have the Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. I used to use this back in the day. I liked it so much. The, the packaging's clearly been updated. I'm pretty excited for this. Like, this, this works really well. I have the Intense Ink Liner. Eyeliner. Oh, I'm kind of excited for this. It's in the shade Blackest Black. That's what the tip looks like. And there's a swatch. I like the tip. I don't think it's the blackest black, but I really do like the tip. It's like long, but it's like flexible. I'm gonna try this out for cat, for like wing liner. Next is this dual ended stick. It is the shadow stick. Well, no. I think it's like a smoke and shadow set. So you have a shadow on one end. This is like a gold. Oh, I'm about that color. And then the other side is an eyeliner. And this is in a, oh, this looks like it's like a metallic brown. There's a swatch of that. All of these are very complimentary tones, so that's exciting. And lastly is like a black lipstick. It's called Blackout. I'm so excited. I haven't had like a black lipstick in forever. And I'm, oh, yes. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, yeah, I'm so into this. You're gonna see this on Instagram or something. Oh, it's so good. It's so creamy. And it smells like vanilla. Oh, I'm, I'm so really excited for this black lipstick, I know, right? Next is stuff from Pure Cosmetics. First, we have this Love Your Selfie 2 palette. This was released for fall, winter, or just fall, I don't know. And I show this to you guys in a vlog. It's just so nice. I love, like, all the tones are perfect. Like, all the, well, there's a, there's a mascara in there I'm not going to touch, but that's just personal need waterproof. I want to swatch this lip color for you because it's so pretty. So this is what the palette looks like. I mean, I mean, you know, you can see I've kind of pawed through it and used it a, f a few times. But um, if you like pure cosmetics stuff, this is like on par with what you would expect. Like really great that's pigments swatches. of the eyeshadows. They're really good. If you have used any pure cosmetics eyeshadows before these are on par with what you get in their palettes um we do know as makeup junkies and makeup consumers that sometimes palettes don't live up to like especially like limited edition items sometimes don't live up to what is in their permanent line i don't know what it is or maybe they're made in a rush or maybe they don't want to spend as much but these are on par with what you get in their regular line. These are the three line. face products. You get a bronzer, and I feel like kind of like two different shade highlighters. I don't find that there's a blush in here um, because one is like a cooler tone highlighter that's very light, and the other one is more like a blush topper. I wouldn't really consider that a blush. So you get two lip products. The top is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Focal Point, and then the bottom is the Gloss in Silhouette. These are really pretty colors. It's like somewhere between a red and a berry, which I think is, like, I honestly feel like it's kind of like a unique shade. Maybe not the pencil so much, but the gloss looks really pretty to me. Also from Pure Cosmetics, we have, do you guys see this? Like, what is this? When I opened the box, I was like, what is this beautifulness? So these are their, like, mineral powders, like their face powders. So I have Golden Medium, and I have, what is this shade? I remember, oh, and light. So I'm good for the whole year. Now this packaging, I think, is limited edition. I don't think this is going to be available um, forever. So I think maybe for holidays. Oh my God, can you imagine having this like in your purse? And it's not like, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like not paper. Like this is like legit 3D. You get like crystal rhinestone situation, like really pretty. So there's light. And there's medium, very nice kind of warm tones for me at least, so I'm appreciative. I can definitely use one in the summer and one in the winter. So light, this one's light and this one's golden medium. Golden medium looks like it'll look really nice on me. This looks pink, right? It also came with a brush. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, I love Pure Cosmetics brushes. I have two or three that I have purchased like of their kind of newer line I guess newer as in like released this year like their white handles but these this is like 
I'm gonna use this to just use from like as my regular powder brush. Do you guys see it? Like it's really pretty too. It has like some texture. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Like I've been getting some stuff from Clinique lately and I really enjoy a lot of the stuff. First up is the skincare, the cleansing wipes. And at first when I saw these, I was like, oh, I hate cleansing wipes. Or, But I, in my mind, I was like, oh, they're makeup removal wipes, but they're not. They're more similar to something that you would, like a micellar water. I like these a lot. I've actually used like all of these steps many times and I liked it every single time. Like my skin felt really clean, but not overly stripped. So you have the Clinique Pep Start Quick Cleansing Wipes, totally into these. And then you follow up with a two-in-one exfoliating cleanser this also really liked however as far as exfoliating goes i feel like if you have sensitive skin or if you just know that you're someone that doesn't do well with like a harsher scrub don't use this because i i have pretty like teflon skin like it doesn't react to much so i can go in with like a physical exfoliant like this and like I never have a problem like I don't know if this is like a daily thing for everyone or just use it in your t-zone kind of like around your nose where you you get kind of like whiteheads or blackheads but like I think the, the person with like normal to oily skin could definitely benefit from this like this whole kind of line and then you have the Pepstar eye cream this is just supposed to kind of brighten and hydrate and I think it just definitely does both of those things I like that it doesn't have like these huge claims the, the only issue I have with this is so to get the product out you pull this up you pull up the circle and then you get some product out right so there's the product but then you have to put the circle back down and when you put the circle back down this squirts out so you have like even more product so I feel like that's like a little bit of waste and an engineering thing but otherwise I really I the product is good I just feel like when that first happened I was like you know you're alone and you're like kind of in shock and I don't know whatever I'm just saying and then lastly you have this pep start hydro blur moisturizer this is basically a primer in the summer I found that I could use this by itself as like my moisturizer and primer I'm absolutely positive that right now if I were to use it it would not be enough you would absolutely need to pile on another moisturizer on top of this or use a moisturizer first and then use this as your primer because I really do feel like it has like that nice kind of silicone blur thing happening where your makeup will glide on absolutely that happens but if you're oily maybe you can try not doing a moisturizer with it but I know for sure I have like normal to dry or normal combination I don't know sometimes I'm like not sure about my skin type like I feel like it's normal and I can get oily in the t-zone but not like super oily until maybe like six or seven hours you know what I mean but yeah, this whole line, I'm like, this not my super favorite. It's not bad by any means. But these, this kind of like whole three-step thing, I really like it. Also, I've been trying out the Clinique Moisture Surge um, moisturizer. I have it on today and I put it on last night. That stuff is so good. If you are looking for just like a just really great moisturizer that doesn't have any like massive claims like it's just going to hydrate your skin that is so good i love it so much this is something you've seen in the vlogs a lot it's the clinique high impact custom black kajal in black and black it goes on so smooth because i tight line the top lash line every day this goes on so smooth like i don't know how much i have left really i'm sure i've gone through a good amount of it but it's just it's really really smooth it doesn't irritate your eyes like if you're just someone that wants like an easy all-around really good eyeliner this is it from YSL we have this vinyl cream this is in the shade Carmen session and I showed this to you guys I think again it was probably in a vlog where I did like a wear test for you guys I put it on at like 10 30 I did a check-in at like 2 30 and then like after eating a whole bunch of food I'll link it below if you're interested but it has a bit of a stain and the color is just really pretty like you'll see in the vlog that's the shade i feel like a lot of people could wear this it's like a very complimentary shade so you apply it and it looks a little bit glossy you can tap it in with your fingers and it goes matte and it just lasts for a really long time you don't get that weird thing with like glosses or stains where you like there's a weird thing in your you know like uh 
none of that and just i don't know i want to look at the other colors like maybe like an orangey shade i like this a lot i also got the ysl touche cotton shade three i have shade two for the under eyes this one this tone on me works really well on the face or it has just enough peachy orangey tone that i can use it as a corrector so it's kind of a bit of a two-in-one for me so i really like it and i've been doing like a concealer clear out and again if you watch the vlogs you know that like this is the one that stayed like the shade two stayed because it's just brightening it has enough coverage it doesn't like get too like into your lines like it's just really good so three awesome for the face for me and then if you're darker definitely i would say if you're like medium to tan you can use this as a color corrector absolutely by terry ombre black stars if you watch my videos you know that bronze moon is like the one for me and i've explained it before as to why i like it so much is that when i wear all matte shadows this still shows up so it doesn't go super matte like i never want my anything to be super matte my face my eyes nothing so this blended out i can still go over it with all matte shadows and it still has dimension so they sent over the shade ombre mercure i have such a hard time saying this this is more cool tone this is the one i wore under my makeup um in like a different video and i'll link that below so pretty also again in the vlog where i like showed you all the ones that i have i had showed you guys swatches and then later on i went to remove them and i could not remove them and i show you guys how i like tried to really rub them off and i could not get them off these stay on they don't budge once they set the last shade is called milky way and i use this under the brow bone down the nose over the lip like you can literally use it as like a matte highlight but because it's a cream and it sets it just like lasts all day on your face so it's really awesome you do not need to put a powder over these like you can just put them on blend them out and go like you are good to go for like kind of you know if you're like into that kind of french easy look no i pile on shadow and i go smoky and stuff like that but if you're one of those like easy breezy beautiful girls who are like you know like you put on like four makeup products and you're good yeah that's not me but if you are these are also a really great thing to add to your arsenal from Kate Somerville, we have this Dermal Quench Liquid Lift Plus Retinol Advanced Resurfacing Treatment. This stuff is amazing. My experience with Kate Somerville products are limited to maybe the Exfolicate. I've never purchased anything because it's, to me, it's just been expensive and I just don't know whether I want to get it or not. The Exfolicate, I purely subsist on like samples. Whenever I get can get a sample or if I can redeem points for a sample I always get it if you've ever tried the exfoliate you know it's so amazing it's like this two minute miracle mask thing and it exfoliates and it like lifts dead skin and your skin just looks like you've had like like a mini facial not like a for real facial but like if you want to fake like a mini facial before like putting makeup on it it's just so good so I'm a huge fan of retinol I don't think I've ever used a retinol product where I did not see some sort of improvement or some sort of maintenance because retinol is one of those products where i feel like you can see like a difference like immediately especially people who have never used retinol before and then they use retinol it's like whoa so this stuff is so unique i've never seen a delivery system like this before so you really have to shake it up like for a really long time and then when it comes out it's like a foam so you get this is what you get Woo! i don't want so you get this yellow kind of liquid and then you get this white foam so at first i was really confused i was like why is this yellow this is weird but then when you read like the ingredients or like you read like the instructions it says that retinol in its natural state is yellow so i was like wow so you get very little you just kind of rub it and i just pat it into my face like i don't even put anything on before it and i like run it down my neck too this stuff feels like nothing on your skin like you can put another moisturizer on top of it it doesn't feel like it doesn't burn and i didn't experience any flaking but i feel like a lot of times when people use retinol depending on their skin type you can experience some dryness i did not i feel like probably also years and years of using retinol 
that's probably why I didn't experience any kind of like dryness or flaking. Your skin will feel, I had, again, I had talked about in a recent vlog how like I felt like my skin was looking so good. I've been using this for a couple weeks and now we're probably on like week three or four. It's so light, but you feel like the next morning things look a little lifted. I don't know how to say it. Like I think because it makes your skin feel like brighter and plumper, it looks firmer. Um, I don't think I'm at an age or I have like skin where like you could feel firmness, but it looks plumper, if that makes any sense. Also, they have the retinol firming eye cream. I'm so obsessed with this. <laughs> it's such a teeny tiny one, I'm pretty much out. Uh, but the consistency is how I want like all of my eye creams to be. Like, again, this is also a little bit yellow. It's like balmy, like balmy and creamy. I almost feel like I'm wasting it right now. Like, I actually really wanna apply this on my lips, but I don't have a big enough bottle. <laughs> so sad it's so good so so good i feel like okay i want to buy both of them but like i feel like i really want to make this like my everyday eye cream it's so fantastic like it this is like even more immediate than the face product i feel like in terms of like making your area here look really smooth and i feel like i don't know if it has any kind of silicone element to it but it feels like smooth so it just, and it's one of those products where you put it on, you're like, yeah, that feels really good. And that is not, I don't find that's like common in a lot of skincare products. It's just like, oh, you're putting stuff on. But this there's like, it's the texture and it's the way it looks. And this you can use morning and night. So probably going to run out of it sooner than later. <laughs> All right. So if you made it this far, giveaway time. Obviously, this is a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff that's been sent and I'm like... So what, what is one person going to do with all of this? So from e.l.f., you're going to get an eyeliner and shadow stick in black and smoke. So this has kind of like a silvery gray uh, shadow along with a black liner. You'll get the clay eyeshadow palette in Saturday Sunsets. I'm not going to open them, obviously, because giving them away. You'll get a dramatic lash kit from e.l.f. You will get every single color of the Pixie Multi Balm sticks that I showed you guys. So if you were into those, you'll get one of each. From Pure Cosmetics, you'll get the Fully Charged Mascara because obviously it was in the kit, but I can't use it because it's not waterproof, so you'll get that. And lastly, from all the hair stuff, like Redken sends these things over every so often. And I've talked about them before, but you'll get this kit. You get the Pillow Proof uh, Blow Dry 2-Day Extender, the Pillow Proof treatment a spray a serum a hairspray a hair tie you get a band-aid a little piece of candy i think so that'll be good all the details for the giveaway will obviously be below we'll probably make it about a week um i hope you enjoyed this i know it was kind of long because lots of products to talk about